Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tip on using Capture One with Macfon's Luminar. Now, if you use Luminar and you use it with Lightroom, you probably use it as a plugin. However, to use it with Capture One, normally you would have to use it with the Edit With option and you would be actually be calling the standalone version. And the problem with that is it doesn't allow you to save back. You have to actually export, which means finding the original file and saving over it and then having that sync back to Capture One. So the easier way to do it is to actually use it with Photoshop. So if you have Photoshop, sending your image to Photoshop first and then calling Luminar from Photoshop is actually a little bit easier, in my opinion anyway. You, you may have different opinions on this, but this for me, I find to be the quickest and easiest way to work with it. So let me just give you a quick example of this workflow in action. So I have an image here in Capture One um, and what I've done is I've kind of got it to where I want it to be. It's I'm going to do a bit more to it in Luminar and Photoshop, but I've got it to reasonably where I like it first. And one of the main things to remember is to just make sure you have no clipping in the whites and in the shadow areas because uh, once we send them, we won't be able to get that back. Once you're happy with it, what you need to do is um, use the Edit With option to send it to Photoshop. So I'm going to right click on the image and go Edit With. Now it's important that you use Edit With rather than Open With, because if you use Open With, it's actually gonna send the raw file to Photoshop, and you don't want to do that, you want to actually send the unedited version. So in this case, we're gonna send a PSD, and we want it to be 16-bit, so we're keeping the maximum quality possible and we want to open it with Photoshop so I'm just going to hit edit variant so what this will do now is this will export a PSD of the image and send it over to Photoshop okay so once we have the image in Photoshop what I like to do is create a new layer um, or create a duplicate of the background layer so that way we have a copy of the original um, that we can revert to and we can also do things like fade out the luminar layer so just the quick way to do that is command J or control J on a PC and that will duplicate your layer so from there we're going to go to filter and macfun software and luminar okay so here is the image in luminar and now we're going to see what we can do to it. So first of all, I have my current workspace set to clear. So I'm just going to go to Essentials. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with the Accent AI filter, because that's always kind of a good place to start. And we don't want to go too far with this, but even straight up, it gives you kind of a nice result. So that's pretty good even at that. So the next thing I want to do is I want to bring up the shadows a bit, because we're kind of losing some of the people here. But we don't want to go too far with it either. And then the highlights. I'm not going to do too much to the image. I just want to kind of give you an overall idea. Let's try the polarizing filter and that will bring up some of the water. And a bit of clarity. And we'll also give it a bit of a nice vignette. So I'm just going to add a few more things. Add filter. And let's try Details Enhancer. Um, I'm just going to try and bring up the water a bit here. So again, I don't want to go too much because we don't just start looking a bit too fake. But I like kind of the spray going on here and I want to kind of give that a bit more definition. So as you can see, that's kind of affecting everything and it's way too much. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ma put a mask on this. So I select my brush tool. And then once you have your brush tool selected, select the Details Enhancer. So this now is going to apply the brush to that. And I want to set my opacity to 100, and I'm going to make my brush a bit bigger. Okay, and then click once to activate the mask, and then start painting. And then just click back on the hand tool to get out of the mask tool. And so if I toggle that on and off, you can see it's not a huge thing, but it just gives a bit of definition to it. And then if I go up here, I can toggle before and after. So as you can see, this has actually done a nice little bit of enhancement to the image without going over the top. So there's before and there's after. So now to get back out of this, we just hit apply. And this will process the image back out to Photoshop. Okay, so now I have the processed image in Photoshop. So I'm just going to zoom in a bit here. And there's one thing I want to fix. 
and that is there's some dust spots in the sky and my spot healing brush too and it's going to kick over the dust spots and you may notice that these are actually birds in the background and they're slightly blurred that's not actually dirt so the dirt is or the dust spots are the bigger splotches um i mean i could get rid of these as well but i'm going to keep them because it's part of the image Okay, and that's pretty much all you have to do. It. And then to get it back to Capture One, all you have to do is hit Save. So Command S or Control S. And we want to maximize options and click OK. Okay, so now if we switch back to Capture One, and there we have the final image. And that's all there is to it. Okay, so I hope you found this tip useful, and uh, we'll see you again next time. And don't forget, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel on YouTube, and if you want to get even more content and behind the scenes extras and stuff, then check out my Patreon channel, and the links will be in the description below. Okay, and see you next time.